Well, hello, my beautiful friends of the internet. I am Humberto Fernandez, your real estate broker in the Riviera Maya. And today, just take a look at this beautiful morning in Montreal. And you'll see, a couple of years ago, I'm going to say a year and a half or so, I made a video, a very extensive video, about how to buy a property in the Mexican Caribbean. So today, what I'm going to be doing is basically redoing a little bit of that video, but in a shorter version. So, my friends, stay with me. So before we begin, just a friendly reminder to like and to subscribe. You don't know how much it helps this channel. So let's begin. Numero uno. The first thing that you need to do when you're planning an investment in the Riviera Maya, it has to do with finding a nice, dependable, knowledgeable broker. And if you're also looking for handsome, well, here I am finding a good broker. You cannot imagine how, how critical there is to your mission because as I've said before, there is no MLS in Mexico. So that means that the, the expertise of the broker is gonna make a major difference when you're looking for the ideal property for you. Numero dos, when you have already found your ideal property, it's time to make an offer. An offer basically is explaining or letting the developer know the terms and conditions with which you're planning on doing that purchase. It includes obviously the price, the payment terms, and all that kind of information. It's going to include very, uh, well, let's not say standard information. You have to set a down payment, then some payments in the middle, some intermediate payments, and then a final payment in delivery. It's important to know that here in this offer, you should also include any additional information, like for instance, if uh, it's going to be furnished, if it's going to be equipped, and any other detail that you might want to include, it should be there in the offer. And just keep in mind something, this offer may not be accepted at first. This is also the stage of negotiation. So the idea is that you send the uh, your offer, that's the only way that we have to communicate with developers, and the developer may accept or come with a counter offer. And it's a process that honestly, it's gonna take maybe about 15 days in the little back and forth in which you negotiate and you find the ideal terms and conditions, you know, the middle ground that works for both of you. And once your offer is accepted, it is time to get to sign a promise of sale contract. So this promise of sale contract basically is an extended version of the offer that was already accepted. It's going to include more detailed information about the developer and about yourself. And something very important in this uh, contract, you're going to find also guarantees of fulfillment. What is that? Well, basically, there are commonly known as penalties. I don't like calling them penalties. It's what happens if either of the parties do not live up to their side of the agreement. You're gonna find that in the promise of sale contract. And uh, very important, once that you have signed your promise of sale contract, you're in. That's basically the very first real step that you're gonna take when you're buying the property in the Riviera Maya. And the next step after signing the promise of sale contract is that basically each of the sides has to do their part. In your side as a buyer, well, you need to do your, the payments that you committed to. And on the seller side, the developer side, he has to build the property according to the specifications that you agree. For how long? Well, it depends. Uh, it depends on the terms that you have agreed and obviously the, developer, the delivery time of the development. And finally, the last step, that is when the development is about to be delivered, you will get a note either from us or from the developer himself, letting you know that the project is ready to be delivered so that you will be needing to make arrangements in order to come down to Playa del Carmen or Tulum, whatever it is, just so that you can sign your title. Now, how does that work? You need to go down there. As a foreigner, you will be needing to, to get your fideicomiso uh, set up with the bank. Let's say that from the moment in which you get the notice from the developer up to the moment in which you're gonna be tiling effectively at the Notary Public, it might take about a month, a month and a half. So that's about the time that you need to take into consideration in which you can do a couple of things. Basically, get in touch with the bank. Of course, we can help you with that. Get in touch with the bank so that you can get your fideicomiso going. Obviously, start getting your tickets, flying, uh, finding where you're gonna stay and all of that so that you can come down there and uh, title your property. And at the moment in which you title your property, you're gonna sign at the notary public, you're gonna make the final payment, whatever it was agreed on the contract, and you're gonna get your keys in basically in a very fast, in a very fast and brief uh, fashion, 
This is the whole process of how you get to buy a property in a pre-sale in the Mexican Caribbean. So let me do it even faster now. So find a good broker. He's going to help you find the right property. Once that you find the right property, you're going to make an offer. The offer can be negotiated. You're going to go back and forth. And after the offer is accepted, you get to sign a promise of sale contract. The promise of sale contract is nothing but an extended version of the, the, uh, the offer that was already accepted. Then you uh, do whatever you committed to do in on the, the uh, contract. And after that, you go down to Playa del Carmen or Tulum. You sign your title, you get your keys. That is in a nutshell. So thank you, my friends. I hope this has helped. And uh, to the next one. Mm -hmm.